Well, if you're only running your, you got a variable speed pump and you're only running it four hours or six hours a day or even 12 hours a day, it's not enough. That doesn't do it. That's something that, John, you talked about that the other day. You know, you talked yeah. about, you know, the water chemistry issues. And, you know, a lot of times it could be just that the, that pump's not, not running. It's not so. on. Yeah, it's just sitting there, right? And the water, uh, a lot of people, I mean, I get it, you know, but you need to utilize it. In a perfect world, you want, you want that pool running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you tune it right, and, you, and especially with variable speed pumps, it, it can be cost effective. Um, well, it can, and, and you know you, yeah. and and especially with the with the Intella things, you can yeah. set it to run at a thousand RPMs for ten hours, and yeah. and at fifteen hundred for two hours, and at three thousand for two hours, and and get what you need. So you can do that, and even doing that, it's a whole lot more cost effective than just running it for six or eight hours at thirty five hundred RPM. No, and you better you best believe for us we moved all our run times up, especially now with the chemical shortage. Everything is bumped up. Out yeah. in summertime, we usually run pools as far as as long as we can. But I have pools running twenty hours, twenty four hours, eighteen hours, like just because that's what we need to do. And you just got to do what you got to do. 